Would you look at that Franken lore? Oh man. <laughs> there is just a lot going on with this bait. We're gonna have to take a minute and just appreciate this thing. Retro bassin' kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Today we're going to be looking at a little care pack or two that I got from Japanese lore builder Masami Matoki of Tsunami Lures. There are rabbit holes and then there are rabbit holes. <laughs> and I can't tell you how much time I've spent on the Tsunami Lures Japan website. There are pages and pages of dozens of dozens of insane handcrafty creations. I sent Masami uh, a little retro bass and care pack uh, fit with some retro bass and lures and apparel and he returned the favor with two packages from Japan that I cannot wait to open for you. So these came in two different parts. We'll go ahead and open uh, the big one first, huh? So what's interesting about Tsunami Lures is they make lures, sure, and they make a lot of lures, but there are a number of other really cool retro flavor offerings on the website, including tackle boxes, apparel, coffee mugs, decals, you name it, they make it. And first things first from Tsunami Lures is this tackle box. <laughs> Look at that logo. It's funny, but I've been trying to figure out a good home for the various custom Japanese lures I've opened this week. And I think we just found it. Oh, and that's rattling. In addition to that, there's a little folder here. And some stickers. So what do we have? There are some pretty cool sticker packs available on the Tsunami website and Masami sent me a few of them. <laughs> yeah, those are six pretty sweet slaps. Oh my goodness. I just love the artwork on these. And another pretty grand sticker pack of genuine Tsunami Lures. A little guitar. We'll get into that in a minute. A little package here. I'm not sure what's inside. <laughs> Very cool sticker there. Tsunami Lures postcard. All right, now it's time to open this thing. Um, but can we first appreciate the color? I mean, look how old school awesome that is. That looks like my boat, by the way. The brown, the burnt orange, and the, uh, the tan. <laughs> that is a pretty glorious looking box. So I gotta open this thing here. Look at that, it's got a locking handle, hold on. <laughs> I heard that might be a challenge, so I did a little research on the front end. So here we go, a pretty awesome tackle box. Plenty of areas to organize some stuff. And let's look at some of the lures inside. 
in addition to a ton of wooden baits, Tsunami offers a number of plastic versions of those same lures. Here's one of them right now. This is a bait called the Cosmo. It is a, like so many Japanese lures, a surface lure. It's meant to be twitched on the surface. It has got a prop on the back end there, a little diving bill in a really neat color. I think that's called tobacco. The Cosmo. I just don't know if I should open that one though. Here's another top water, sort of wood chopper style plastic bait called the Mighty Arrow. I just love the packaging. Look how cool that looks. I don't know. Those might just have to hang in the retro studio. What do you think? Okay, here's a bait called the Neva. Yeah, I saw this one online. This is a neat one. This is a eh, sort of surface, subsurface walker. We're gonna go ahead and open this because I'm definitely gonna be throwing this bait, 100%. First off, oh, that's loud. Oh, look at that. I just love the old school blue and white color with a little modern day Japanese flair on the side. Interesting bait, it's weighted. It's got a little bit of a button at the end. I don't know if that's for clacking noise or what. A pair of double hooks. Yeah, that thing probably walks a little bit like a Zara Spook, I bet, huh? Nice flat bottom as well. I'm super excited to be throwing this top water. And also in here looks like one of the custom wooden baits from Tsunami in a very old school package. Look at that. And a little label on it. I think that says Sonic Horn, which is a really, really intriguing topwater bait. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Would you look at that Franken lore? Oh man. <laughs> there is just a lot going on with this bait. We're going to have to take a minute and just appreciate this thing. I've seen this lure in action on the Tsunami Lures YouTube channel. It is a topwater walker popper. Solid wood construction. Doesn't rattle, but I guarantee you with all that hardware, it makes a heck of a racket. Start at the nose of the bait. It's got a little bit of a cup on it. Downward slant that I guarantee you that thing makes a little bit of a popping sound as you reel it. Right behind the chin is this. And if that looks to you like a guitar pick, you're not wrong. That is on a swivel, ball bearing swivel. And then we've got a hook here, it's sort of up in a little reservoir. That's interesting. A little bit higher. One of those standard Japanese double hooks. One more just north of the tail. And then a metal tail, which I guarantee you does some flapping like crazy. This is not the bait for when the bass are skittish, but oh my goodness, if you were talking about calling up a lunker out of a deep lake, woof, like Lake Biwa, this would be it. I believe this is in a mackerel pattern. Uh, just a just a cool, cool bait. Wow. All right, now we're on to the second package that Masami sent me. And I think there's going to be some apparel in here. I hope there's going to be some apparel in here. <laughs> Where do I start? Well, I'll start here. 
This is Fishing Corpse Tsunami Lures. <laughs> I don't know if that is a coffee mug or a beer mug. But that is the coolest thing. Little branded. Old school looking mug with a couple guys and a little bass boat. One mug. Oh, looks like there's two mugs. <laughs> Very cool. And I am totally going to have to open this thing up. Oh, look at that. All right, we'll put that on. I sent Masami a Retrobassin hat and shirt. And so I'm so glad that he returned the favor with this pretty sweet sweatshirt. <laughs> oh, and there are two more lures in here. This is definitely a bait that I'm going to be open because this is one of the ones I'm going to throw when we get these Japanese lures on the water. The Del Blanco looks a whole lot like an old school frog topwater, doesn't it? It's got a little sort of a boat shaped lip there. Nice double hook. Couple of carved legs. Each equipped with a single hook which is sticky sharp, and a little bucktail. Oh, <laughs> what a wild looking creation. That's not a huge top water, but because it's got some heft to it, I've got a feeling I could cast this thing a mile or two. Really cool looking frog pattern, sort of a fluorescent frog. The little beady eyes, <laughs> ribbit. And last lure, also in a tsunami box. I just love the old school box. Oh my goodness, look at that. And what is this? This is a Sonic Horn Mini Tiger. <laughs> in addition to having some baits that have really cool old school flair and inspiration, Japanese lure builders like Masami also are not afraid to take risks, and that's what I love about it. This bait is crazy, and it is something that you would never in a million years see on the peg at a shop in the U.S., and that's why I love it. <laughs> you gotta see this. This is a topwater popper called the Mini Horn. That thing looks like it would make a holy commotion in the water. Solid. Is that wood? Oh, but it's got a little rattle in it. That's wood with a rattle. A couple of nice quality hook hangers on the bottom with a pair of those double hooks. It's got a little button at the rear end there. I wonder what that's about. And a couple of tack eyes. And yeah, that's a, that's a tiger bait all right, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know if we've heard from old Joe Exotic lately, but uh, I saw a tiger and now I understand. <laughs> well, definitely gonna be getting that bait wet as well on our Japanese fishing lure excursion later this week. Ah, uh, Masami, thank you so much for those lures and the apparel and the mugs. Can't wait to use them all. As I tried to do with this series, I did ask Masami a number of questions and he was kind enough to give us the answers. So we'll go ahead and engage in a little Q&A with the creator of Tsunami Lures. First question, how long have you been designing lures? Masami said, I have been designing Tsunami Lures for 25 years. Quarter of a century. Impressive. Next question. Where do you get inspiration for your designs? Uh, no surprise, Masami says that I get my inspiration both from American lures as well as on the water experience. What are some of your favorite vintage lures from the United States? That is really difficult, he said, but if I could only pick one, it would be the Zara Spook. It has been the standard for over 60 years and still catches fish today. I noticed that some of your lures have guitar picks built in and I have seen you play guitar on your YouTube channel. Tell me a little bit about the influence that music plays in your lure designing. 
according to Masami, it makes it easygoing and laid back and teaches me that I should be innovative. If I do so, my baits will become the standard and that's exactly what happened to rock and roll many years ago. Maybe it is the spirit of rock and roll that most influences my lure building. Last question, how can anglers not located in Japan get a hold of some of these tsunami lures? Masami says that international anglers can order tsunami lures both through the tsunami website as well as send him a private message on Instagram. If you want to burn up a couple of hours really quickly, head on over to the Tsunami Lures webpage and just start a browsing. Your mind will literally be blown with the pages and pages of just insane creations that he's got there. And if you're on the YouTube looking for a new channel to check out, the Tsunami Lures channel is nothing short of breathtaking. There's a ton of just insane footage of Masami out on some of his favorite lakes, most likely Lake Biwa, fishing for bass with his creations. Even though I can't understand the dialogue on the channel, just like rock and roll, fishing sounds good in any language. Oh my gosh, got one. Oh wow. Come on, buddy, stay pegged. Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's get in here. Oh my goodness, that was super cool. Hopefully the GoPro is able to pick that up. I threw right in there on this little boulder and oh son, that nice little Lake Austin bass came up and slurped my tsunami lure. Oh man, that's really cool. That was a, that was a blast. <laughs> oh man, I still, after what, 40 some years, cannot get over a largemouth bass just crushing a topwater. Let me get out of these weeds here. Ah oh, man, very nice bass. That's a, a nice little schoolie on the Tsunami Sweep Phonic Cigar. Ah <laughs> oh, man, that's a really cool fish. So a few observations after throwing this Tsunami Lure a good portion of the morning. First off, despite its, again, very death metal appearances to it, uh, this is actually a very slick, little bait in the water. I know when you're looking at it, you see this weird metal tail, this metal guitar blade, the crazy mackerel paint job on this thing. I know that when I first saw all those things combined, I thought this was gonna be a really obnoxious bait in the water. But it actually fishes a lot more subtly than I ever thought. For one, it walks super well. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that this guitar bait sort of acts like a keel to keep it in the water or the tail but in almost any rod position I was throwing this thing I can really get this thing to walk very nicely. That little popper lip on the front acts a whole lot like a chugging spook which I love um, and because of those double hooks it is super weedless. I am not afraid to skip it in there in some really deep nasty stuff and so far I haven't had so much as a speck of weed on this guy. So thank you Mr. Sammy for a blast with this guy. Fishing it old school this old stuff rules welcome to Retro Bassoon. <laughs>